get to Shell City, you're going to need to cross the bottom of the trench. You can get to the bottom using this slide. The only way across the trench is along the bottom, but you have to get there first by traveling down the slide, past those sea monsters. Mm, the trench is pretty deep. And very dark. Oh, no sweat, Mindy. We're men now. Those sea monsters wouldn't scare a guppy. That's the spirit. Now get down there as quickly as possible. Hello, Mark's Wars, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Where last episode, we played through the eighth level of the game, which was I'll Let You Pet Mr. Whiskers. And today, we're playing through level nine, Rock Slide. I'm going to be showing you how to get down to the slide initially, as well as completing the Time Challenge, Ring Challenge, and the Macho Time Challenge. Now, on the bright side, this, as always, the slide levels are exponentially easier than the driving levels, but it's still repetitive padding. And also, this one is definitely much harder than Rub a Dub Dub Slip Slide in the Tub. Uh, don't worry though, I will be showing you the most optimal path forward as I did in Rub Dub Dub Slip Slide in the Tub. Uh, the best tip I can give you here is just like last time, you want to use the, uh, what's it? You want to use the camera to help you turn as much as possible, and you want to space your jumps out much, much more. Uh, than you, uh, what's it, than, than you do regularly. So like, ordinarily you might just do a quick hop and another quick hop. Here you want to jump, wait, and then jump again to maximize your jumping distance as much as possible. Because you're gonna need it to make some of these jumps. I also missed a trampoline earlier. You might have seen a trampoline out to the right side of that cave I passed through earlier. We are going to land on that. We are gonna need to jump to that in order to, uh, uh, succeed the time challenge. But since it's just a regular run, we don't need to do that. Also, uh, we will be able to get all three treasure chests on our first run through. We don't need to worry about doing any nonsense like knocking over towers in order to get them. They're all three treasure chests are available to get on your first run, and that is what we are going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be getting them all on the first try, so that is nice. We don't have to worry about trying to get it on the time challenge, so that's nice thing to look forward to. Other than that, just follow the path that I'm following, and you should be good to go. For the mo for this first part, there isn't a whole lot of specifics I have to give. It's just uh, s make sure you dodge all the 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 things that these tentacles are launching at you. Um, it's pretty easy as long as you just jump as they as they throw them out like that. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot to whoa, okay, almost fell off the edge there. So let's not let's not eat my words here. There isn't a whole lot to watch out for. Just remember to maximize your jumps, turn with the camera, and you should be good to go. We're coming up on the part where we are gonna need to make some uh okay. I don't quite know what happened there, but we're still alive and that's all that matters. So our, our first really important jump is gonna be coming up here in a second. We're gonna need to jump off to the right hand side of the slide, right here. Follow the dumbbells onto the trampoline down below, pull back on the throttle if you need to, to help you make that jump. Then all you have to do is just follow this path around and it will take you straight to the treasure chest. So yeah, you might have to pull back on the throttle uh, when you're going after that trampoline. Uh, because the sometimes you'll overshoot the jump if you, if you maximize your jump. So I recommend just maximizing your jumps and then pulling back on the throttle just a little bit to make sure you can uh, land on that trampoline. It might take a couple of attempts, but the good news is that there's a checkpoint directly before that... Um, directly before that uh, trampoline, so you have plenty of chances, you have an infinite number of chances to try to to try to try make that jump. Now, uh, moving forward here, there's going to be a fork in the road, and we're going to want to take the, uh, we're going to want to take the left path coming up ahead, because we need to take the left path in order to get the next treasure chest. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick down here to the left path, this is going to take us around the bend like so, and directly into a cave. Now, as soon as we get past this cave, we're going to need to make an immediate jump to the right-hand side. So turn the camera, jump to the right, then pull back on the throttle to turn yourself around like this, then turn the camera around immediately as well. Save myself. I turned the camera in the wrong direction, but I still managed to save myself. Yeah, so you want to jump off, pull back, and then turn the camera around so that you can uh, slide down here to grab the second treasure chest. It's a very tricky jump to make, um, but it is the only way to get the treasure chest, so it's gonna, like I said, uh, it, it can be tricky, it, it can take a few attempts, but luckily there is a treasure chest, I just said treasure chest, there is a checkpoint immediately before that, so you don't have to worry about that, you have plenty of, ch you, plenty of chances to, uh, to make that work. Also, the, these platforms are random, they won't always be the same every time, so you just gotta, you just gotta be vigilant and make sure you pay attention to which ones are going to, uh, which ones are gonna, uh, flip up to the safe side, but fortunately, you have plenty of time to react to that, so that's not something to worry about in the slightest. Uh, okay, we're good over on this side, and yeah, only one more treasure just to get, uh, so yeah, you, uh, if you struggle with, with getting the first two, um, the, the third one isn't, I mean, not, I mean, so, I mean, so none of, none of them are all that bad, it's just a matter of, uh, practice makes perfect, because there's a checkpoint before all of them, 
uh, it's not that bad because you have infinite, infinite number of chances to, to get them all. This one does require the most amount of prep work, though. There, there is this one has uh, a couple of choices you have to make beforehand uh, in order to make sure you get it. So first. You want to stick to the left-hand side to go up this upper path. There is a path to the right. You want to ignore that path. Take the left path. Then maximize your jumps and immediately go down the right side path right here. And this will take you into a cave. Now, as if, as if, as if all that wasn't bad enough, we still have one more crazy jump to make before we can get our hands on the treasure chest. So turn the camera to the right-hand side. Jump onto this platform. Then immediately make a double jump to the right-hand side. Follow the green dumbbells around. And this will take you to the third treasure chest. You can see it over, over there in the distance. And that is the last treasure chest we're going to have to get for this level. So just follow the path around. Dodge all the green balls getting thrown at you. And here is treasure chest number three. And from here, it's going to be a straight shot to the end of the level. Well, okay, assuming I don't bash into uh, bash into the explosive barrels like that. But assuming that doesn't happen. And assuming I don't almost fall at the edge like I did just there. Then we will have a straight shot to the end of this level. No problems whatsoever. And if you're wondering why I haven't upgraded yet. Because we do have an upgrade point on top of the screen as you can see. The reason I haven't upgraded yet is because uh, I'm saving that upgrade point for the next ability, which we're going to unlock in the next level uh, tomorrow. But for now, we're just going to focus on, again, so this random every time, so it's not guaranteed which side is going to flip up to be safe. Um, although, I, I would recommend taking the left side. I didn't do it here, but I recommend taking the left path, because the left path is going to be the one that the ring challenge will take you down. So it's just uh, nice to build that habit early. Anyway. Holy cow. You actually did it? Still not too bad, but definitely a harder slide than the... Uh, than the rub dub dubs inside the top one. Of course we did. We're men. Yeah, right. Here's your reward. Alright. Now all we gotta do is the time challenges and the ring challenge. This place is full of horrible, hideous, and disgusting monsters. You've got to cross the trench to get to Shell City. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens to earn your next ability, the Sponge Bowl. Crunchomatic! Oh, I forgot my spoon. No, Sponge Bowl. It's really useful on things you don't want to get too close to. You can now throw a bowling ball by pressing the B button. Those nasty bucket heads must be stopped. Shell City is on the other side of this dark, scary place. Real men aren't afraid of the dark. You need to get across this trench. Real men aren't afraid of the trench? Of course they're not. Just look out for monsters. <laughs> monsters. Yes, yeah, so remember earlier when I was talking about that thing we were going to unlock next episode? Well, we unlocked it now. We're not going to use it until next episode, but we did just unlock it now, and that is what I was saving the upgrade point for, because... The upgrade for this is when upgraded allows SpongeBob's Macho SpongeBob to do damage to anything that gets near. Press the B button to detonate it. So obviously we're going to want to upgrade that out of the gate. And that's what I was saving that upgrade point for. So, yeah, that's that. Anyway, we're not doing this level now. We got to get back to uh, Rock Slide and finish up the remaining challenges that we didn't do the first time around. So we got a time challenge, a ring challenge, and a Macho time challenge. All of which I'll be showing you how to do right now. Want another Goofy Goober token? Sorry, we don't have any to spare. Patrick, she meant, do we want another token? Right. Get to the bottom of the slide as quickly as you can. If you beat the time, I'll reward you. Okay, so we have 5 minutes and 30 seconds to get to the bottom of this, which is looks like a lot of time, but you gotta remember that this slide's also a lot longer than the other one, so, you know, it's theory of relativity and all that. Um, and the best advice I give, I can give you out of the gate, aside from major route changes, um, is just path, like short path, path optimizations, like you know, cutting corners and things like that. So you saw earlier, I took a little, bit, I took a few shortcuts. We'll be taking many more throughout the rest of this route, uh, things like this. They may only save a couple seconds here and there, but but you know, a couple seconds added up over the, uh, the uh, like a bunch of of little shortcuts that save a couple seconds added up over the course of the run can shave off a lot of time. Now here's here's that jump I was talking about earlier. After we go to this cave, you want you want to make a hard right. Jump out to the right-hand side, land on this trampoline, and that'll launch you way, way ahead, all the way down here, which saves a lot of time. I didn't do it initially because, you know, I, I, there was, I was focusing on getting the treasure chest and just kind of explaining the slide in general, but you definitely want to make sure you nail that jump 
uh, for the time challenge, especially for the Macho time challenge. It will be extremely useful. Uh, as for this cave, there isn't really a whole lot we can do. Okay, did not mean to get hit there, but there isn't really a whole lot we can do to save time here other than, you know, jumping down another path uh, like this because this is a major shortcut that takes us to the end of the level. So when I said when I said there isn't a whole lot we can do here, yeah, I mean, obviously, there's, there's that major shortcut, but other than that, you know, other than that, not a whole lot. Quick reminder, we do need to take the trampoline here. There's no more dumbbells to guide your way, but the trampoline is still there for you to use, and you definitely want to make sure you take that shortcut because every second counts on this slide. Um... I, I think, I don't think it's the hardest slide, I'm pretty sure there is one after this that's definitely a little bit, uh, harder. Uh, but, you know, it's not, not by, well, no, I, I was gonna say not by much, but then I'm like, actually, yeah, it is kind of a... <sighs> the next one, I mean, so, it's still fun, like, the slides are still fun. It, it's annoying how many times you have to do them, but the slide mechanics, of course, are still fun to, fun to traverse. It's just that it's, uh, definitely gonna be a bit more of a challenge. For, for, as, for as hard as this one is, the next one's even tougher than this, so, you know temper your expectations in terms of how much of a breeze you're gonna have okay almost just went careening straight off the edge there yeah reminder also take the left path right here uh, just, just, we're just following the same path that we did in the initial run uh plus the addition of jumping to the uh jumping to the the, the trampoline that we missed the first time around um and i actually turned the camera the, the correct direction this time so we didn't almost go flying off the edge I, I did almost just miss that jump i almost didn't have enough momentum to actually make that jump but other than that we still managed to make it through this cave Relatively effortlessly. And yeah, don't worry. I have great news. The next level we do tomorrow will actually be another 3D platforming level. We won't have to do any more of this repetition for... I don't want to say quite a while. We, we do... I will say this. We do have two back-to-back -back, uh, platforming levels coming up ahead. So we, we, we'll have a two-day a two a two -day break from r repetitive stuff. But then, unfortunately, it's going to throw us right back into the thick of things immediately after that. So, kind of sucks, but... You know, uh, I'd actually be interested to I'd be interested to, s to see what the percentage is. I haven't actually uh, done the math on that. Like, what percentage of levels are platforming compared to what percentage is everything else? Because obviously, the, the driving levels are not the majority of the game. But like, if we if we tally up the amount of unique Goofy Goober tokens compared to the amount that are repetitive, I wonder how bad that that ratio would be. Um, it it might be. Whoa! Did I? Pressed A. Didn't accept my input. Thanks, game. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll still try to make it to the end. If it were the Macho Time Challenge, I'd reset. But because the checkpoint's right here, we should still have enough time to make it to the end. I'm not sure. I'm still annoyed that it, it just dropped my input. But I think we should still have enough time to make it to the end, in theory. Uh, hopefully. We're, that, that's the goal, anyway. Because I'd, I'd like to not have to redo this. That, that'd be great. Um, like I said, if it were the Monster Time Challenge, obviously we wouldn't have the wiggle room to actually account for this. Also, we're gonna take the upper path this time, because we're gonna take a little bit of a, bit of a shortcut to try to shave, try to save a little bit of time. And it appears we were successful. We got about a minute and a half to make it to the end, and I think we should be able to do that. Um, this, 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 this run definitely wouldn't, wouldn't have been Macho Time Challenge viable. This, we would have been kicked off the Macho Time Challenge a while ago if this were, if that, is that, if that were what we were trying to... The game didn't even give me, well, now the run's dead. I, you know, you know what sucks is I could have recovered that. I could have made that run, but then the game's like, nope, no, you are not recovering that run, because I didn't even, I just, I, I, like, I went off, usually, usually games are fair, and they give you, like, a second to recover after you go off a platform. No, not this game. This game does not do that, because that's just a SpongeBob SquarePants movie game for you. Okay, we actually made it past this jump this time. What do you know? Unfortunately, we only have one more hit point left, but I, I can't imagine, like, if I'm gonna lose this run to something, I can't imagine it would be running out of health. We have about a minute to get to the end, I think that's plenty of time. I did actually die on this run, if you're wondering why, we have about as much time as we did the last times, because I did also, I did fall off the edge this time as well. Um, I mean, it, it was my fault this time, so it's, I mean, can't really be mad about it. That, that's why I continued runs, like, yeah, it was, this one was my fault, I'll, I'll, I'll see this through the end. Uh, as you can see, we still have plenty of time to make it, but there's no way I would have had enough time. I probably could have made it after the first death in the last run, but there's no way I would have had enough time to make it after the second death. I, I was th that run was dead from the second I died the second time. Um, but yeah, there we go. Not good enough for the Macho Time Challenge. The Macho Time Challenge requires us to get to the end in uh, uh, four minutes and ten seconds. So we, we'll, we'll have to have a flawless run in order to get that. But for the regular Time Challenge, not too bad. Could have been a lot worse, as demonstrated by the previous run, which was a lot worse. She's hot. Patrick, I think she can hear you. Listen up, you two. As you're sliding, rings will appear along the way. You have a limited time to get through each ring. Get through every ring, 
and I'll give you a reward. All right, time for the good old-fashioned ring challenge, which is much more enjoyable on the slides, uh, because you know you actually have competent control over your vehicle instead of the driving levels, which is just like, oh, slip slide all over the place. Because I don't know, I'm I'm not gonna rant about driving controls. I've done that enough. I will probably do it some more because there's more driving levels to play through. But this is a sliding level, so you know we won't be ranting about that. But you see. At least they, they actually give you an adequate amount of time to make it through the ring, because that ring was very far away, but it gave you plenty of time to do it, because it recognizes that the ring is very far away. Unlike the last level, which is like, oh, you're, you missed it by a millisecond, despite the fact that you're actually touching the ring? Well, too bad for you. Okay, don't go for the trampoline. I almost made that mistake, because that's just instinct from doing the Macho Time Challenge. Uh, don't go there. That The ring will not be waiting for you on the trampoline. It will, it will be waiting for you on the normal path. Um... So yeah, that's that's something to be on the lookout for. We are gonna have to take that on the Mantra Time Challenge. As you saw, uh, if I hadn't died, we probably could have that last run probably could have made it for the Mantra Time Challenge. It just you know um, would have. Oh, good God! Okay, that was a last second adjustment. That was last second adjustment. That's actually the checkpoint. The checkpoint. The shortcut that I took on the last run, like the the, the run I did off screen to to make up for the last run. Okay, that was close. I got I got stopped on that thing again. That's, that's the same place. That's the same place I lost my momentum last time. I don't know what it is with that exact point, but I've, that is not the first time I've lost my, I've, I've lost all momentum there. But yeah. Uh, again, not on the trampoline. Um, the ring is not on along the path. The ring is along the normal path. So I, I, I don't. I haven't actually been this way yet in this walkthrough because I've every other path we've, we've taken the trampoline to shave off shave off as much time as possible. So yeah, the dumbbells are actually going to be here this time instead of. Uh, Instead of already, I did. I just I I okay. That that I guess even the ring. I guess even the slide levels aren't immune to BS ring stuff. Okay, we actually made it through the ring this time. Um, so that's that's nice. Yeah, we, we, I didn't go down this route last time because we didn't need to. We just needed to go down the. It, it wasn't the alt. It's not the optimal route to take because there's a lot. There's, there's shortcuts we can take that are. More optimal for the time challenges, but for the ring challenges, we go where the rings go. So, yeah, we don't really have control over which direction we go. But yeah, that shortcut in the yellow cave earlier is the is the shortcut we're gonna take for the Macho Time Challenge. I, uh, I didn't see need to take that risky of a shortcut just because it's the regular time challenge and not the Macho Time Challenge, so I didn't. But we will need to take it for the Macho Time Challenge. Shave shave off every last possible second we can. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but we did get ourselves an upgrade point, so that's nice. Uh, we're probably. The question is, do I want to save that one as well? Because there's still, I don't know if you saw on the upgrade menu, but there are still two new things that we have to unlock for both, uh, the, well, there's one for SpongeBob and Patrick, which is a total of two new things. So the question is, do I want to upgrade, do I want to upgrade SpongeBob's health? Because we're going to have, we're going to have two back-to-back -back platforming levels, so the health will probably come in handy, especially for the, for the combat arenas, because those, those can be, those can be annoying. Uh, but generally speaking, do I want to save... I'm, hmm. I, th I think what we should, by the time we unlock our next ability, I think we'll have another upgrade point, so I'm gonna, I think I'll, I'll, I'll use it to upgrade the health once we, once we get out of this level and we can go, we, we can get back to some regular old-fashioned platforming, I think I will use it to upgrade our health, which, I mean, it, it's not gonna affect the sliding or driving levels because you're just, your health is locked at three, no matter what, you can't upgrade your health for these sections, but you can upgrade your health for the platforming sections, which is, I, I, I don't want to say the minority of the game, but it sure feels like it because you spend way more time doing these same tracks over and over again than you do, uh, d oh my god, again, again, the same thing happened! <laughs> this game, this game, this freaking game. Might as well upgrade SpongeBob's health while we're here, since we dropped inputs yet again. Okay, SpongeBob's health is now fully upgraded, so now, uh, yeah. That's about that. Uh, now, the question is, will we drop inputs again? No, we won't. zippity doo -dah. Never had that problem with any other Xbox game, except for this one. So that's nice. A little bit of lag there. Odd, okay. Well, we're going to get to see the right side path this time, because we never we never went down this route, because we never had to go down this route. Oh, I mean, oh, so we, actually, we did go down this route the first time, but we usually... usually uh, since then, I, I've taken the upper route to take a, to shave off a little bit of time at the end, just to maximize that and this is the first time we're going through the main cave because previously we've had to take that little bit little shortcut to the right to go ahead and grab the third tre treasure chest but we don't need to do that this time because the rings are shaving us I said shaving us leading us toward here so now 
barring any unforeseen circumstances such as dropped inputs or any other nonsense like that. Uh, remember to stick to the left hand side, that's where the rings will take you along this route, so you gotta be ready for that. Other than that, assuming you know that, it'll, it'll be hopefully a straight shot to the end. And uh, that's about all I have to say here. Uh, don't drop any inputs. We're almost there, just a little bit further to go. One last ring. And we made it. Okay. Wow, that was torture. Here is your reward. You've earned it. I've got challenges. Well, we've got skills. We do? Well, if you can beat this manly time down the slide, you will be rewarded. Okay, so we're going to be taking some insane shortcuts this time, because the Macho Time Challenge is ridiculous for this level. It's actually kind of insane how hard this one is. Um, but yeah, just on a basic level, shortcut optimization by cutting corners like what you saw me do up there is going to be very helpful. Beyond that, there's going to be some crazy shortcuts we take here. I'm actually not going to take the same route we took in the, the Sand Time Challenge, uh, just because we need to shave off as much time as we possibly can. And there's going to be two crazy, two major jumps we're going to make that are going to be very off the beating path. And I don't think you're supposed to make them, but I, I, well, okay, I say that, but I also don't know how it's even possible to complete the Macho Time Challenge if you don't make them. So, anyway, a good benchmark to see if you're on pace is if you hit this ground when you hit 45. When, if you hit the ground after that trampoline when you hit 45 seconds, that's a pretty good indication that you're on, that you're on good pace for, for, uh, for this run. I don't know why you just randomly lose momentum there sometimes, but, I mean, at this point... That's just a sponge of script movie game for you. Sometimes you drop input, sometimes you lose momentum, sometimes they send you flying in, in random directions, and there isn't much you can do to stop it. Uh, so you just gotta make, make, um, the game throws you lemons, and you gotta make lemonade whenever it, whenever you can, which is funny, because this room kind of looks like it was made out of lemonade. Anyway, we are gonna take the, the, the trampoline again, but we're going to take, uh, and we are gonna, we're gonna take a little bit of an extra shortcut, because the, the trampoline is in and of itself a major shortcut, but we're gonna take another shortcut, uh, here. And we're already kind of behind pace, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump off right here and then hold, pull back in the throttle like this so that it'll turn yourself around and then you'll be going up on this route. Um, don't know if that's intended or not, but it's the best shortcut I could find to shave off as much time as possible. Going to be another major shortcut coming up here just in a second. We're going to take, we're going to take the left path again. Oh wait, sorry, no, I'm, I'm wrong. We're going to take the right path this time. We're not going to go into the cave at all because the time it takes to turn around in that cave... Uh, is not worth it. Especially since we already spent time turning around once, we're not going to risk that again. So instead, we're going to head up in here, up to this upper walkway, or uh, walkway, pathway. Uh, jump over here, jump, break those, I mean, you don't have to break them if you don't want to, but we're going to, the important part is this, we're going to drop off here, jump off to the right-hand side. It's a little bit of a sliding motion to actually get over this, this mountain, but once you do, you'll land here, and it'll be a massive shortcut ahead of going to the cave. It, it saves a lot of time in the long, in the long haul. Also, these things won't spin, because you actually skip the, uh, you skip the trigger for, uh, that causes these things to spawn in, or spawn in, to start spinning. So you should be able to hit this checkpoint in around two and a half minutes, and that's a good indication that you're on good pace to get to the end of this, to get to the end of the slide. Now all we gotta rely on is, is the hopes that we won't, um, that we won't drop any inputs, no steam's gonna knock us off the edge. The hope that we just have a nice, normal, relaxing slide for the rest of this, and we won't have anything to worry about. Because if if we do, then we should have a straight shot to the end, and we'll be able to finish the Macho Time Challenge. Just to give you a heads up, by the way, this is the jump that matters right here, because this is the jump where we dropped input before. Okay, we made it past this jump. That doesn't mean we're in the clear. We still have to make it through the rest of this with only a, roughly a minute left to go. Will we be able to pull that off? Uh, maybe. It, it depends, but it, it, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we, we, we've taken every shortcut we possibly can, so now it's just going to be a matter of, did we, did, we, did we cut corners well enough? If yes, then we're in the clear. Also, we don't want to take the shortcut in here because that takes us the opposite direction from where we want to go. We have to take it to get the treasure chest, but we, we do not want to take it on a standard run. Um, this is going to come down to the wire. Also, we got another upgrade point, so that's nice. Uh, but this is literally going to come down to the wire as to whether we make it or not. We have 30 seconds to go. Uh, it's, it's gonna be real close. It is going to be very, very close. Okay, so now, now it's gonna be a matter of just reacting appropriately to the spinning, uh, platforms, which we've done pretty well. Okay, we're good. Don't, don't mess up this. No, don't, don't mess up to have a calf to have coming this far. Okay, 15 seconds to go. Uh, one more jump, and with 10 seconds left on the clock, 9, 8, there we go! The Macho Time Challenge completed. Great sliding. Here is your reward. Now is the game going to screw me over and freeze again? 
Because that'd be real mean if the game would have freeze right now. Nope. It didn't. Okay, phew. The game froze for a second. I thought. Oh, okay. I thought the console froze as well. That was going to be real bad. My recording is at almost two hours right now, by the way. That looked really seamless for you, but it took me two, almost two hours to do that. All of that. Because this game and its padding just. Hmm. Anyway. That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next schedule tomorrow for an actually good level. Now that we're men. Goodbye.